Gideon's warriors, I am now going to demonstrate to you how not to drink from a stream. This is what will not get you, unless of course you don't want to go fight the Midianites, um, this will get you off the team, okay? Uh, this is what actually most of them did. They got down, the scripture says, on their hands and knees with their face in the stream. Like, ah, gotta take off your helmet for this. Okay, maybe even lose your breastplate and hands and knees and face in the water. Like that. Now, I want you to imagine an enemy creeping up behind me when I'm like this. What's gonna happen? Well, I'm gonna get run through from behind. And if I even, I won't even hear him because the stream's making too much water noise and I won't see him obviously. And if I even do hear, maybe I hear the horses coming, by the time I get up, turn around, get my helmet back on, get ready to go, I'm dead. <laughs> All right, now, this is how a real warrior drinks from a stream. Notice I'm down on one knee. My helmet's still on. I've got my sword right here, ready. And when I go to drink, I go down and scoop and drink. Always keeping an eye on all around me at all times. See, that's the way you get selected. And the whole point is, if someone comes, you're ready. See? So, here's the lesson on, on this. We're always alert. If you're going to be a part of Gideon's 300, you're going to be alert and aware to the world that's around you. What's going on, you're going to be knowing what's going on, you're going to be reading about it, informed, learning as much as you can, and reading the Bible at the same time, and learning how this all fits together and what on earth God is up to. That's what we're doing here at The Catch, and that's what it means to be a part of Gideon's 300. Meet you at battle.